I'm here with Mohammed, and we're continuing to learn about all of the Fairfield University research that is conducted here at the Research Symposium. So Mohammed, tell us a little bit about your project that you're presenting here today. Okay, so I've been working on this project for a year and a half already. Uh, so we're interested in a sequence uh, of peptides present in the Alzheimer disease, which is KLVFFAE. And one of our hypotheses, our main one, is that we believe that when we change the tryptophan for a phenylalanine, you get a higher conductivity in the peptide. And there's two ways to test the peptide. One way is through a direct current with an IDA. So you just put basically the peptide in the electrode and you take the acyclic voltammetry, which is gonna basically give you the current of the peptide. And then you average it for the different peptides. And the second one is through, a, it's called a soul gel electrochemistry. So you have an electrode and you put the peptide in between a soul gel solution and you also get a current for the four peptides. Wow, it is such impressive research. Tell me why something so um, very dense inspired you to dive deeper into this. So when I came to Fairfield, I didn't know I wanted to do research, but the more I went to like seminars and research and listen to people talk, I was kind of interested. And then I had my professor in Smith Carpenter that I had in Gen Chem to, and I knew she was doing a very interesting research on peptides. So I joined her lab and I just found that like it was so interesting and I wanted to contribute to the, like the science field really. Yeah, you touched on it a little bit there. Tell us about that relationship with your professor and with the faculty here at Fairfield and how that kind of helped you along your way in this project journey. So I had uh, two professors that are working on the project. The first one is Harper Letterman, which is really the main one. And then we have uh, Smith Carpenter here. Uh, in the project, really, they really helped us like with all the guidance, the procedures, everything. Not only that, but they were like mentors for me. Like they helped me also for application for grad schools. Um, they also helped us get a fund with the Megoli family, who uh, were a great help because we, thanks to their uh, funding, we were able to get some electrodes, some micro pipettes and everything, which helped us a lot. Yeah, absolutely. So we're here at the symposium today. How has the experience been presenting your research to your peers, other Fairfield community staff, um, and also right back to your, um, your mentors? Uh, honestly, it's such a like great experience. I had the uh, Sigma Xi last year, virtual. It's it's a total like different experience. Honestly, you get to see people, you get to see the interesting talks from other people and other like areas you usually never like really deep into. You go dive into, so that's definitely like very interesting. Yeah. Sure. And where do you um, hope that the project goes next after the symposium? Can you say that again, sorry? Sure. Where do you hope that the project goes next after the symposium? Uh, so we're actually in the process of like publishing this research. So we're just going to get a little bit more data in the next like two weeks. And after that, I think that's the, that's the end of this specific projects on the, the short amyloid peptides. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us today, Mohammed. This is really impressive work. Congratulations. Thank you very much.